Here is the story called Frank Franklin's Class Trip, and it's written by Paulette Bourgeois and Brenda Clark. <clears throat> Franklin could count by twos and tie his shoes. He had gone with his class to the bakery, the fire station, and the pet store. Today, Franklin's class was going to the museum. Franklin was so excited, he could hardly eat his breakfast. The museum had lots of steps and huge doors. Wow, it's big, said Franklin. It has to be, said Beaver. There are real dinosaurs inside. Hmm. Beaver had been to the museum before. She knew everything about it. Big dinosaurs, she emphasized. So big, they eat trees for breakfast. Franklin was afraid to ask what dinosaurs ate for lunch. Franklin sat down on the steps. What's wrong? asked Snail. Beaver says there's real dinosaurs in the museum. Snail looked alarmed. That sounds scary. Franklin nodded. In the museum lobby, Mr. Owl went over the rules. No shouting, no running, and stay with the group. Mr. Owl said, Beaver, one more thing. Watch for the dinosaurs. Moose and Bear laughed. Franklin didn't. He moved a little closer to Mr. Owl. The first stop was the Bat Cave. It was dark inside. Squeaks and squawks filled the air. What's that? asked Franklin. Beaver giggled. That's the sound bats make to find their way outside. Franklin was relieved that it was bats and not dinosaurs. <clears throat> the class visited the rainforest next. Franklin climbed high into a treehouse. He could see the tops of trees. Can you spot any dinosaurs? asked Snail. Franklin shook his head and climbed down quickly. There was so much to do in the museum that Franklin almost forgot about the dinosaurs. In the medieval room, Franklin had fun dressing up like a knight. Franklin even got to dig in a sandy pit. He was the first one to find an arrowhead. It was just like being a real archaeologist. The best part is still to come, said Beaver, as they sat down in the cafeteria. Yes, agreed Bear. Lunch. Mr. Owl smiled. I think Beaver means the dinosaur exhibit. Franklin gulped. I'm too tired to see more. I'll just stay here for a while, he muttered. Me too, said Snail. You'll forget about being tired when you see the dinosaur, said Mr. Owl. Eat up and let's go.
<clears throat> reluctantly, Franklin and Snail followed giant footprints down a long, leafy corridor. There was a loud roar. The floor shook. So did Franklin. Ah, screamed Franklin when he turned the corner. He was looking right into the bony mouth of a Tyrannosaurus. <gasps> Franklin blinked. They're bones, real dinosaur bones. The dinosaurs aren't alive. Alive, giggled Beaver, of course not. There haven't been live dinosaurs for millions of years. You make good jokes, Franklin. You sure do, whispered Snail. As they were leaving, Franklin and his friends passed by the, Eg the Egyptian exhibit. Next time, said Beaver, you should visit the tomb. There's a mummy inside. Is it real? asked Franklin. Yes, and scary, said Beaver. But Franklin wasn't scared. He had a mummy at home. And he could hardly wait to tell her all about his adventures at the museum. And that was Franklin's class trip.